Often passing the guard in jujitsu can be very difficult if you have a flexible opponent. So using diving back takes can really change the game because a lot of people are so focused on defending the pass, the angle that you come in when you dive for the back can make it much more difficult for your opponent to defend. I've included a lot of competition clips from Espen Matisson and Leon Larman because they use this a lot in competition. Be sure to check them out on Instagram if you want to see more content on these techniques. As always guys, if you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel. So to learn these diving back takes, we're gonna start off with learning the basic back take mechanic and then we're gonna learn to do it from top. So the first mechanic we're gonna use is a bolo mechanic and in my opinion, this is one of the simplest, easiest ones to use. So I'm gonna tilt my opponent's knee inward. We're gonna grab the hip and the key here is I wanna get my shin over my opponent's knee line. This is like the Mikey and Nick Siles and Daniel Meyer way of doing the bolo. So I'm gonna get my shin over their thigh. I grab the hip here. I'm gonna talk and invert my head all the way through. And when I come through here, he's gonna stay up on his hands for now. I want my right foot to stay along his ribs and my shin, you can come around this way, my shin is gonna stay connected really tight on his hip here. This creates kind of a painful lock on his thigh. My left heel clamps to my butt, stay up in your hands a little bit, and as I drop this left foot down, it's actually gonna lift his hip up really easy, flip him over, and now it's really easy to switch up and take the back. So the first sequence we're gonna look at from the top is I'm passing the De La Hiva guard. I trap this leg. I'm gonna control my opponent's pants and I control this cross collar. Usually people here are expecting you to go for a knee cut pass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot my knee over and I catch this same mechanic we used for the bolo before where I uh, chop my shin into his thigh and I'm gonna dive over and land on my right shoulder here. As I hit, I land in that exact same position. I hammer my left foot to the floor. I create that lift and I take the back. So one more time at full speed, we get the collar, we go here, we dive, catch and take the back. So the next sequence is from single leg X. So now I'm gonna push my opponent's foot off and I can either go straight for the hip or if I sit low, I can go to the collar, but it's the same idea. I'm gonna shoot my shin, I hop my knee over and get over this thigh line here. I'm gonna grab the hip and I dive over my shoulder. Again, I get that same landing mechanic, left heel down, right shin clicking hard, pull him over and take the back. So this time doing it with the collar grip, I push the heel off, I sit low, this way he can't put the foot back on my hip. I grab the collar and now when I'm ready, I dive over the shoulder, hit, clip, and take the back. So the next mechanic to understand is the basic crab ride mechanic. So go ahead and stand up. So the crab ride basically is built off the idea if he turns around here, uh, it's like a basic back take where you come around and you have both butterfly hooks. We grab the belt or the pants. I pull him down and I take the back. We're just gonna be doing it while we're inverted. So he's on his back here. And in this situation, I get the same exact hooks in, just like that position. I have both grips on the hip. This will come about in a lot of different ways. So we're gonna be here. And now the thing is, if I threw this leg over to try to take the back, he can just scoot out to half guard, right? Go back. But if I have him sitting on my hip, go around the other side. If I have him sitting on my thigh when I do this, here, you see how he's on my thigh, when I throw this over, I can actually sit him up and take the back. So normally when you do a crab ride, what happens is the bottom side thigh is not there, so when I go over with this right leg, I'm now putting it in my lap on the top side. So as I invert through, he ends up on my lap on the other side, I throw this foot over and I can sit him up and take the back. So now we're gonna look at setting that up from the top. So the first setup we're gonna use here is from a stack pass. Often you're passing, your opponent has his legs high, so we're just gonna pin his feet over his head in a stack. From here I can try to pass, but instead, I'm gonna drop my shin on his thigh here, switch my left hand across and grab the hip. From here, I'm gonna take my left foot and I switch it in here, and now this knee's gonna drop past his hip so that when I land, he's already on that bottom side of the crab, right? You need to go to the other side. Um, so now as I go here, I drop and I go here, I can pull him up over the lap. I hit here, sit him up, and take the back. So one more time, full speed. I pin the feet over the head to go for the stack. I drop my right shin, switch the hand, throw the left foot in, drop, and take the back. So the next one's really useful versus flexible guard. So sometimes my opponent's side tilted into the way I'm passing. So as I circle, he'll kind of follow and invert up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot my cross knee instead of the same side knee to his shin here, or to his calf here, and now I'm gonna grab the hip, and my left shin, you need to go around that way, my left shin is gonna shoot over here. So I land in this position here, and see he's already landing on the lap like before, and now as I land, I can throw the heel over, sit him up, and take the back. So one more time, full speed, I start to circle around to pass, he starts to invert, I come around, I use the cross knee to pin his calf, I catch the hip, dive, and take the back.
Hope you guys like the content. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my website, be sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description. I have a lot more organized content and systems on there as well. Thanks a lot.